Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do an early uh, lineup build series for the uh, NBA slate for today. I consider it a three-game slate. Uh, actually, it's a three-slate slate. So it's two two games, but uh, I'm going to be playing the Classic, which is uh, obviously both games, and then each of the showdowns. Um, so we're going to build using Saber Sim and using the projections I have for now, just to give you an idea of what I'm going to do on the slate in general how to play two game slates in general. Um, and again, as you guys know, I've been very you know active in these short slates uh, to try to you know learn a little bit more about what works and, and experiment with different things and share my thoughts as I kind of go along. I mean, if you look at the games themselves, I mean, Milwaukee, Indiana has a million point total, um, 256, I mean, are you kidding me? Um, so obviously you would imagine that more of the action comes from that game. And yet you'd imagine also that Probably the ownership would come from that game. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to, it's going to help me too, because I'm going to up, I'm going to build early look uh, lineups and it's going to allow me to also uh, download the, uh, the contest sim data. Um, so let's just get it going. So let's upload the projections. This is as of now. And again, it's more, again, process, more of a process video because these are not going to be the projections when we get to lock. But to show you what I would do, you know, upload the projections here, um, you know, replace the Saber Sim ones with, with ours. And first thing I'll do is just fire, you know, so I'm going to be playing probably 50 lineups in this two game slate. Make sure it's set on Sim with 50, 5,000 pool. Um, and we'll just build. And again, I don't like to make any changes aside from uh, the projections and ownership. Uh, on first look. Okay. Now we also have to pull our geo mean spreadsheet up so that if we decide that we want to use that to ensure uniqueness, we know what we're going to be looking for. I mean, we could guesstimate, but it's better to just to kind of know. So what is it going to be, 40,000 entries in this or something like that? Maybe more. I, started, I sort of get used to what these numbers are. But let's, 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 I'm looking at the other, my other page here. This is not the showdown, the regular semifinal special is going to have, no, only 11,700 people. Okay, so with 11,700 people, we're going to need a geo mean of 31. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, I don't believe that that will be, well, I don't think it's going to be a problem getting to it with only 11,000 entries. So this is the, the regular bill, just like that. And before I do anything, I'm just going to upload these to my contest. Now you'll see, no surprise, a lot of Indianapolis. Um, but getting a decent amount of there, Anthony Davis, too, and some Herb Jones, which is good to see. So if I were finalizing the lineups, what I would do is probably go Min Uniques 2, Min Uniques 3, or something like that. So we can do that. And let's – um. we have to download our entry file. Even though I saved just a regular dummy set of lineups, it's saved in DraftKings. And let's just save these – without specifying what goes where. So it, when I hit duplicate, what that means, I'm putting 50 in here and my top one in here. And before, again, I do anything else, I do want to download those and then upload those to DraftKings just so that, you know, I know that there's not dummy lineups, at least there's, there's something in there. And I always like to check, make sure, oh, it's a hockey line, the soccer lineups. Uh, Make sure that at least something's in there, which is good. All right. Um, I presume Davis is playing. It's probably a wide All right. So um, so the next thing, again, I want to do is I want to uh, download the, the contest send information. So within your contest tab here, you hit right click on your contest, hit add contest sim, and you see it populates the data of how many people are in the contest, all of that percent entries paid and all that stuff. So what this does is it sets up the settings 
so that when we run our contest sims, it's going to know what types of lineups we're comparing our lineups to. Um, so we've done that. Now let's go back into our build and run our contest sims, which is make sure these are checked off. This button here is the run contest sim button. So again, for those of you that are watching the first time, that what ostensibly is happening here is that the SaberSim algorithm is taking our 50,000 lineups and saying, okay, um, we're gonna we're gonna really figure out which of those lineups should go into which of these contests. And it allows us to rank these in a lot of different ways. Like right now, before the contest sims runs, well, I'll show you, the contest sims have now run. We can rate these 5,000 lineups by various methods of Sabre score. We can rate them by just projected score, like for example. But now it gives you another dropdown specific to the contest. Um, you see the semifinal special, that's kind of the lottery. And you could even rate them this way. So we're gonna default, we're gonna, by default, we're gonna sort by risk adjusted ROI. And this is what your normal, this is what my top 50 lineups are rated by risk adjusted ROI. Also, we kept the three uniques minimum in here. And this is a really, really good set of lineups to put in. Um, and I think that if you're gonna play MME, or MME, uh, is it MME? Yeah, if you're gonna play MME, this is literally the, the minimum that you should do. You should do everything I just said and get to this point before you make any other decisions. Okay, uh, if you do this, this is a process that I think will get you, it will get you probably plus EV, like right here. But now is where you have to decide a couple of things. Like if you wanna make any changes to the exposures, if you want to make any changes to, I don't know, to correlations, if you want to really be a stickler for uniqueness, and this is what I'm kind of, thinking about here um the other the other thing is that what this algorithm does not factor in is the fact the late night game has more value because of flexibility in other words in general the more flexibility you maintain the better so i don't think the saberson algorithm accounts for that so if you wanted to you could uh, up your 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 exposures using say this here min exposures, max exposures, and, and move them more towards the late game. Um, but what I think I want to do here is, is give ourselves a chance to be unique. And as a result, we go back to our geo mean spreadsheet, which we put in before. Now, again, if you only want, let's say one do, the geo mean of the lineups that you want are have to be less than 31. It says 0 0.31, but it's 31. So you see here in these uh, in these rankings, it's ranking them by top risk adjusted ROI, but you're seeing some of these lineups are not, you know, unique enough. You know, 33, uh, 36. So this is going to be a fun slate because what we're going to do is we are going to sort, we're going to filter by geo mean under what I say 30 to try to get unique for 31. And what it's gonna do is these top lineups are gonna disappear. And so you have to decide whether you're comfortable with that. Um, but we are, so let's put lineup filters, add filter. We're gonna put geo mean less than 31 and save. So now it looks totally different, right? You have a whole other pile of lineups and check out what you have here. You have like a, a six spot, like six pacers with no bucks, for example. So, uh, and you'll see it's like these lineups are just not, they don't rate to have the best, you know, projected score necessarily. Um, but, when you filter out for geo mean, 
these are the lineups that you really want. So uh, if you didn't feel comfortable doing that, you could just refilter by a lower geometric, like here, or by a higher one. So if you wanted to be okay with just five dupes, then 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 you can get all the lineups you want. You know, because all those other ones, like you'll see, like if I take out that filter, like they're all under 37. You know, you probably get away with this. If, if you're okay with getting five dupes, then you could just play this. But I'm a little bit of, and if you don't like that, you know, you could, um, you know, you could split the difference. You know, you could, you could filter for geometric mean of, or three dupes and get to 35, you know. And no, geometric mean is not perfect. And, and the sports projection guy has shown that, that it doesn't, not always predict it, but it, I, it does a pretty good job, okay, of, of, of uh, predicting uniqueness here. So let's for now go back, and this is what makes this fun, you know, is 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 what changes you make and what decisions you make with respect to, um, you know, how unique you want to be. Um, and listen, and a lot of like this first one, like a hundred Pacers and like no Milwaukee's. I think its construction is going to be pretty unique. So uh, the other thing that's good to know is that. We got these lineups out of uh, out of five thousand, so it's not as if we had to go into like a hundred thousandth lineup to get to them. Um, now this is still being ranked by risk adjusted ROI, okay, which is which is good. So one, two, yeah, okay. I just want to make sure we're radiating the right way, um, and you'll see by the way dupes it'll say zero on most of them if not all of them so anyway let's save these um save these oh i ran it again too late let's put these up so we'll put this in the in the in the semifinal and then what we'll do is we'll take off the filter as this is rerunning and we'll resort by this big buy -in. now this is this is important i think I, I even though it's a big buy-in and you don't think the geo mean is going to matter you should still do it anyway and and what i mean is you take a look oops let's uh go back to this just, just go to this and the risk adjusted roi let's go back into here and see how many entrants so 270. So we put this back in our calculator. For 270 entrants, you only need a geo mean of 56. So I just to make sure. So we got plenty of room, all good. So we'll just save our top one to that. And we should be in good shape. And we just upload these. And so this is basically the process that I do, that I'm going to do. And, and I encourage you to, to look at and maybe even try to improve, obviously try to improve upon it. This isn't perfect. If this were perfect, you know what? Everybody would do it. And there'd be no edge. I'm sure there's better. Um, but this is the best I have right now, with the exception of the fact that, again, it depends on how good you are with these little tweaks. You know, like if you have this idea that Bruce Brown's going to get more minutes or it's going to do whatever, it's got more upside than these projections will indicate, then, you know, even like up at these guys by a point is going to really impact this stuff. So it's not as if it's just all like button clicking. You still have to put your, put your take on this stuff. Um, but yeah. All right. So let's now, uh, while I got you here, let's do the same thing with the showdown. Or almost the same make sure not to screw this up like I sometimes do, but I, I won't. I won't ever again. So let's take a look. And again, I can cheat. I can cheat, but I can't cheat completely. What I mean is I really don't want to rerun sheets for the, for the showdown slate, but it's fine because I still have the projections. All I need is the point projections, right? Um, or do I? So let's, let's pull up the point projections for Indianapolis, Milwaukee. And 
you'll see this error come up. Yeah, you couldn't match these. You wonder why? Because they're not from that game. But that's okay. We'll ignore them. We will exclude unlisted players. So now look at this. Oh my God, there's, there's nobody left in the cap. Well, sometimes you have to do it again. And then what you do is this time you, ex you include all those listed players and you see it all populated. Pretty brutal, right? Anyway, so now we have a set of, of, of projections. We can go ahead and run this. Nope, not. Because again, when we are uploading our classic slate stuff to the showdown slate, the ownership is off. So we have to reset this. And now we're at least getting the correct same or same ownerships. Now, again, if I were, you know, if I decided to run a full set of sheets for showdown, I would get special ownership projections. But here we'll just use Saber and sim ones. So what we're going to do is the same thing as usual. We'll go 30 lineups. That's what we're playing here. Um, builds. No other changes. And what I can do myself ahead of the game here. So I can look and see if I can fill in this, this data for the contest since before this finishes. Um, that would be showdown six out of four So it'd be 98.03, I think. Six hours and 42 minutes, it's 9 p.m.? Well, what about the one before that? Yeah, so that would be actually 23.52. And I, I'm starting to learn all these numbers here. Um, so six players, 23.52, one dupe, and 27.4 is the GeoMe we're looking for. So we'll, 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 we'll get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. All right. So again, uh, let's first, before we do anything else, uh, we don't need to do min uniques, I think, in an NBA showdown, do we? Ah, you know what? Let's do it. NBA two uniques. Let's again just save these straight to the contest first. Very nice. Oh, 35 lineups. Ooh. We'll duplicate them all. All right, that's fine. Uh, again, before we do anything else, let's download these so that we have it. These are better than nothing, so just in case we forget. Um, so now we have the contests. We can just easily right-click and hit Contest Sim. Data populates 2352, as we already knew. And then we'll go back into the builds. And then make sure this is click, clicked and run the contest. It's important to realize what's going on here, right? Like we've already done like all of the work. Before. This is just execution. Well, not really. So we've done all the work to get the good projections and to, to make our tweaks and whatever it is. And now we're doing the minimum using all the tools we have available to give ourselves a good pile, pile of lineups. And then we have to figure out whether to tweak those after that as well. But again, if you guys are just working for the day and you just want to come back like a half hour to post time, you can make this work for you. All right. So uh, we did this. We did the contest, Sam. We're going to, again, rank these by risk adjusted ROI. And this is the minimum, right? I think if you play this set of lineups, upload these, I think you're in good shape. 
uh, to make good EV lineups. But again, and especially in Showdown, you, you need to get unique. Now, again, in, in, in Showdown, there are two ways to get unique. Number one is to play lower owned guys, a, aka low owned lineups. Or you could play high owned guys, but leave salary on the table. And that way you're playing low high owned guys, but low owned lineups. Right? You play the, the highly projected guys may or the highly owned guys, but leave money on the table. So like, like here's an example. Let's just say, for example, there were there was a slate where there were eight value plays. They were all 3K and they were all 50% owned. Right? The reason why they were 50% owned is because you could use those to access several 20K guys, right? They wouldn't be 50% owned for any other reason except the fact they have these 20K guys available. So so for example, you know, if you played eight of those guys together in a lineup, you would see that they were all 50% owned, but the, that lineup would be like 0% because nobody would play all eight together because it would project for like no points. So that's, that's an important thing to remember. So how do you want to do this? You want to play high owned guys, but leave salary on the table or low owned guys. Um, let's play. And again, these are choices you can make. Uh, we're going to play the low-owned guys. We're not going to care about salary risk. We're going to play low-owned guys. And the way you do that is by doing that geo-mean filtering. And so we go back to that number from before, which was 27. We'll take the set of lineups. Actually, let's give ourselves 35. So we have. And let's do filter. Add filter. Geo-mean geo or geo-test as far as I, I set it up. 27 and let's see if we can get these all right very nice so this is a pretty good way of getting unique and we could just fire these you know um that's what we're going to do for now and uh let's put these in here my unique rank which is good upload these here shape problem with the leaving money on the table approach is that i don't really know what what uh ooh, what is this areola is scratched oh this is for the late game uh okay yeah i don't deal with that well, right now what's uh this this is you want to talk about uh about uh on the fly here, so that's Ariola. The <laughs> soccer stuff is going on right now. Um, so let's replace him with uh, I presume it's is it Fabinski? Yeah, it's Fabinski. So we'll replace him for now. Cool. Um, okay, so the uh, again, the problem with doing it by by salary is that I don't know exactly how much salary you're supposed to leave. And you're just kind of guessing. So I prefer to kind of do it this way. But if you, if you listen, show you how to do it the other way, take the filter off and then we just add filter and then just take these same lineups and sort by salary, you know, less than, and then we're making it up, right? 49, five, maybe. Boom. I mean, so these are, regularly owned guys but but low salary um oh before i forget let me actually i'm not i'm not playing the uh actually i was playing the big buy and i already dealt with that over the yeah, i'm not deal, playing the big buy in the show today. all right so let's do the same thing i uh, just have a couple minutes left and we'll do the uh, Laker game. Showdown, same as before. Upload, we'll do this real quick. I do have to go. But it's important to get this done. Again, couldn't match those 19 players, right? And we will, again, uh, reset the ownership. So now we have our projections from the classic slate and Saber Sims ownerships 
front for the showdown slate. Oh, we gotta pause this. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Hold on, let me just pause this. Um, so yeah, I actually bought myself an extra five, 10 minutes so we can go through this. Um, so again, we uploaded the projections. The ownerships are Sabersons. And we're going to place a, a, a little bit of volume in this one. I don't know if we're going to play 50. But let's build the 50. Because this pays more. And also it's got, you know, it's also more interesting because you're going to have to get a lot, you know, you're going to get a lot. You're going to have to get more different because of the number of entries. So like, for example, I'm going to actually put this up right now and see how many people are in this bad boy. The sport. Let me see if I can beat the, uh, okay, so it'd be 9803. So we need a geometric, we're going to need a geometric of 22, which is not going to be easy, which is good. I like that. And I got no problem with this. Um, but what's, what, what I'm, I'm doing here on purpose is I'm not building 5,000 lineups, I'm building 2,000. So if I can actually get a geometric mean of 22 out of the only 2,000 lineups, pretty strong. So let's really try to win the what's first prize in that one? That's going to be like a full 50,000 for first. Let's go for the full 50 then, right? Um, okay. So again, this means nothing right now. I'm going to be a little, well, let's, let's get greedy. Let's make min uniques too, as we did before. Let's, uh, upload to DraftKings. Uh, is it here? Oh, we are playing 50. Ooh, God, God help us. All right. So we'll save these to the contests. We'll download these for now so I don't forget. Same process as before. And then the one thing I forgot to do, which I can do afterwards, make sure they're there. Uh, should be good. Is uh, look at the, uh, the contest sim settings. And we'll add contest sims. Boom. Go back in here, back into build one. Unclick or click and run the contest sims. All right, so we will sort by risk adjusted ROI. And again, I think this is the minimum, but uh, the minimum you should do, but we're going to be greedy and let's just see. Uh, if we can get a geometric mean of less than 22. I really doubt it. Let's just see. No way, right? We did it. We could totally do this. Nobody said this was going to be good, but we could get what we want. I almost don't even want to see what this is. These are all the captains. We got all kinds of nonsense. We got Cam Reddish in the captain. Let's go. So for now, we're going to live with this. And again, you don't have to play this way. Like I said, you could you could set your 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 geometric mean to higher and get your more normal looking lineups. There you go. 
And again, same thing. I'm going to do this closer to lock once the projections come out and they get updated and things like that. And the other thing I'm going to do, don't forget, is uh, whatever I have set for the early for the for the two game slate, I'm going to certainly late swap once the first game is over. Um, I hope that was instructive. It was instructive enough for me to justify me actually uploading it. And uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.